I'm David Polk. You know, I've been watching and enjoying 60 Minutes on TV since I was like 10 years old, especially the rant at the end by Andy Rooney. But last night, I'd been doing some spring cleaning of my gadget closet, and I, I sort of fell asleep while 60 Minutes was on, and I had the strangest dream. I keep hearing people talk about spring cleaning, but I don't even understand the term. I mean, it's not spring that you're cleaning, it's your house. Anyway, when you're a tech columnist, there's no end to the, cra the uh, accumulated stuff that people send you to review. I mean, look at this stuff. This thing is some kind of tripod for your camera or camcorder, only you can wrap it around almost anything. It's a good enough idea, but I'd hate to see what the airport security people say about it. This is a little flash drive. It does the same thing as these big ones. You stick it in your computer and you copy files onto it, only it's much tinier. It's so small it almost completely disappears when it's in your computer. It's invisible like a little second hard drive. It's a nice idea but I don't know how I feel about entrusting my files to something so small it might blow away when I sneeze. They call this the V-Hold R, although they'd probably prefer I pronounce it V-Holder, as in beauty is in the eye of the. It's a helmet cam for your extreme sports. The two laser dots help you line up your shot, and then it records all your extreme sports in high definition. <laughs> Did you ever notice how a lot of things still suck electricity even when they're turned off? They call it phantom power. I call it sucky electronics design. I mean, who ever heard of a toaster that's on even when it's off? Well, here's a surge suppressor that solves that problem. The thing is, you plug everything into this, then you can turn them all on or off at once, and you don't even have to crawl around on the ground because this one comes with a remote control. Oh. Did I do that? Anyway, it's a nice idea. The only thing is, turning on and off my power strip used to be the only exercise I got. This is a waterproof, shockproof camera from Canon. Olympus and Pentax have already had ones like these. The pictures aren't that great, and it's got about the size and shape of a grapefruit. <laughs> the little fish must think it's Armageddon. My favorite gadget of all has got to be the OpenX. It basically opens any kind of package, including those infernal hard plastic ones that the other gadgets all come packaged in. I guess that's the lesson for my spring cleaning this year, that the most useful gadget turns out to be the one that's not electronic at all.